My name's Sarah Armitage and I've lived here for 24 years with my husband Richard. We did up the house and the garden together. In March this year he died suddenly, just at the beginning of the pandemic. Almost as soon as Richard died, I think it was probably put on the Castle Morton website, so a lot of people knew and I started getting flowers. You're feeling really depressed and paralysed, but you've got to deal with these flowers. They're living things and they've got to be looked after, and that's a really good thing. And then people started bringing me things. Somebody brought me a Streptocarpus polka dot purple. They're extremely difficult to look after and they're very difficult to keep alive. And I'm sure that's why these people gave it to me, because it gave me something to do and to think about. And the polka dot purple was my friend that week. Isolation was pretty awful for me because it's just what you don't need when you've just lost your best friend. What you need is people around you, your family and, and your friends. I haven't had a cuddle since Richard died. It's very hard, that side of isolation. is. I think that's what it means to me, not being able to cuddle up to anybody or give them a hug or a kiss. I was very worried about the night time because I thought I was just never going to sleep without Richard after 27 years. How can you? But my younger daughter, she knew I was worried about sleeping. So every night she would text me a short poem. And the first poem that she sent me was so helpful. It might have been the most helpful thing that I ever had. And I copied the poem out on lots of pieces of paper and put them all around the house. And the poem was, How do you do it, said night? How do you wake and shine? I keep it simple, said light, one day at a time.